Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a very exciting video for today. We are going to try on every single Merit blush. Merit just released four new shades in their cream blush formula, and so we are gonna try all of them on and see what they look like and how they all compare to each other. Just give you guys a better look at these awesome new blush colors. These are my favorite things to do. I think these are so fun. So before I ramble on too long, let's just jump into it. Merit's Flush Balm Cream Blushes are a foolproof, flexible balm that deposits a creamy, transparent veil of color to let your skin show through. Coverage is light, finish is radiant, and the formulation is a stick. It's described as a soft and flexible, buildable balm that glides onto the skin, perfect for the face or lips. This lightweight formula delivers a visible, long-lasting glow that's never cakey and won't clog pores, while microfine pigment powders deposit a touch of color without covering up the natural texture of your skin. This product is also an Allure Best of Beauty award winner and is a clean, vegan, cruelty-free brand. The original shades in Merit's cream blushes were Beverly Hills, a soft peach, cheeky, a cool pink, terracotta, a warm cream, raspberry beret, a deep berry, and mood, a soft burgundy. They've since added four new shades, Stockholm, a baby pink, Persimmon, a soft orange red, Fox, a warm taupe, and Apre, a soft berry. I don't think I said the last one right, but we're not gonna talk about it. <laughs> Having used the Merit blushes before, I definitely agree that they are buildable and that you can still see your skin underneath them. They do not just cover your skin with pigment. They really do look like they've meshed well with your skin so that you can still see your foundation underneath, but just adding enough color to give you a radiant finish on the cheeks. They also have an amazing line of colors, Merit, is one of the brands that I think does an amazing job with colors. I'll pop up on screen Merit's color wheel so that you can get a better idea of how all the different colors and all of their products work together and complement each other. I have some of their signature lips in front of me so that we can see which blushes might look good with some of these lipstick shades. The shade that I used to create this look today is Stockholm, the baby pink. This just looked a bit light, so I wanted to see how it showed up on my skin, and I thought it was the most complimentary to what I already had going on on the eyes and lips today. I did have to build this one up because it is lighter shade, but it's really beautiful and gives a really nice finish to the cheeks. So I'm gonna swatch each shade on one cheek side by side so that we can see how these shades compare to one another. The Baby Cool Pink doesn't really have one that looks similar to it in the line, so that's why I decided to put it on with this look so that you could see it by itself. I am going to build these shades up on the cheeks so that you can see the color, just in case you're wondering why I look like I have a ton of blush on. It was on purpose. <laughs> now I'm gonna go take this off and come back with two new shades on. Cheeky is constantly sold out. It's one of their most popular shades, that and Beverly Hills, so it's really nice to see how these two compare to each other. I would use this one for a warm look and this one for a cool look. Here's their signature lip in Baby, and I believe Stockholm would look really nice paired with that, in addition to Cheeky, and even Beverly Hills. So there is the shade Baby next to Stockholm Cheeky and Beverly Hills. Next, let's compare Terracotta and the new shade Fox. Fox looks so, 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 so beautiful. When I saw the shades of the four new blushes, I immediately wanted to pick up Fox. But terracotta is surprisingly light, so Fox is definitely gonna be deeper, but they're both brown tones.
I don't really see terracotta working for anybody who isn't fair. I'm not even sure this would show up on light skin tones, but because I am fair, this does show up on me, so be wary of that. But if you like the tone of terracotta, then Fox might be a good option if you have a light to medium skin tone. The shade terracotta right here, or the shade Fox, would look really good with the slip signature lip here or the darker brown color that they have. I just can't find that one. I think it's in my purse. The shade Stockholm would look really, really cute with baby. As would Fox. There's Fox, baby. Baby's the signature lip, and then here's Stockholm and Fox. This persimmon shade has got to look beautiful with their signature lip Cabo. Here's persimmon and here's Cabo. That is a match made in heaven right there. And raspberry beret here would look really beautiful with fashion, their signature lip. Those are meant to be. Fox here and the signature lip tiger are really similar in tone. You could also pair that with terracotta or persimmon. There's the signature lip tiger next to persimmon, terracotta, and fox. Ooh, that is, that is brighter pink than I expected. Mood here is the darkest shade when swatched and I can still make it work. So if you really like the shade in your fair, you can wear it. The shade Mood right here is absolutely stunning paired with the signature lip Lay Avenue. There's Mood and Lay Avenue. Lay Avenue is my favorite signature lip shade. It is the most beautiful berry brown, so it makes sense that Mood just pairs so nicely with it. The shade Apre would pair nicely with their signature lip Fashion. And there's Apre and Fashion. I have to say that my current favorites after trying all of these on today are Fox, the Warm Taupe, Mood, which is the soft burgundy, and cheeky that cool pink. I also think terracotta, which is the warm cream lightest shade in the line, would just be really great to go with any look. It's a light enough brown shade that it would just look beautiful with warm or cool tones. And it's not super pigmented, so it would be great for a lip focused look or if you don't really like blush, but you just want a little bit of color and glow on the cheeks, that would be the perfect shade for that. I'm not sure how these would work on darker skin tones, so I would recommend checking out another creator who has a deeper skin tone than mine to see if that does work for you. But if you're fair and you wanna know if all of these shades would work for you, then yes, they would. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and for subscribing, you are the absolute best. I appreciate it more than you could ever know. 
Let me know down below what your favorite shade is or what shade you plan on picking up from the line. If you really like the four brand new colors, I would recommend the little mini set that they have on the Merit website. And sometimes Sephora has one of the minis as like a freebie if you spend $25. So I'll keep a lookout for that and post on Instagram stories just in case that does pop up. Anyways, thanks again. You guys are amazing. Thanks for liking and subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.